Hello gamers, and welcome back to Let's Play Challenge of the Five Realms. This is going to be part 32, Pranks and Polygraphs. Now, I've went through a little bit more hex editing, um, just to give you all a little bit of background of what I've done here. Uh, I went ahead and learned a few things. I gave everyone the Armor of Valor, the Magical Sword, which is the Sword of Malachor, and the Shield of Blotgar. As well as all the magic users, I gave a ring of magic and a ring of protection. Everyone has a ring of protection now. I used a hex header to do this because there's not that many in the game, of course. And another thing I found out is the Apple of Wisdom. I can't remember exactly what it was called. But the wisdom you get from the, wi from the tree in Arius you eat that, and it can make a non-magic user a magic user. It basically increases your magic points, all your mental skills through here, and your magical skills. Now, I went ahead with a hex editor to gave myself a bunch of those apples. As you can see, I still got plenty of armor, valor, magical swords, rings of protection, and such. But the ring of magic is used to bind spells. That's why I really wanted to do it, because that's one of the main things that's really going to um, slow down the timer is binding a spell into your ring of magic, like a teleport spell. Because um, then you're not using magic points, you're using that ring, and it'll you can keep on using it until it says this ring has been exhausted. The only problem with this is it uses up all the components you have to make that spell. So if you use it for like a tree of wisdom apple, okay. So if you use it for like, let's say, um, evoke dragon, there's only one Dragon Bane in the game, so you could use it and try and bind the spell and it won't bind, and then all of a sudden all those components are gone and you cannot no longer get them. For that reason, before I started doing it, I also used the Hex Editor to go ahead and give myself only of the components I already have now. Don't want to cheat too much. <laughs> anyway, to give myself 20 of each opponent that I have. Now, that allowed me to go ahead and bind all the rings and everything, but for some reason it used all the all in soil for every single bind that I did, which is very odd. But anyway, I gave myself 20 of all those, and you can see how they're all down to 11 and such now. Um, and I went ahead and used the Tree of Wisdom Apple on only one person. I'm going to leave the Ventrax Knights as just Ventrax Knights. You see, they got 0, 0, 0. I could make them magic users, but no real point to make them magic users. Okay, so I went ahead and I used them on the Knights of Virtue. You see there, I used like maybe 10 Tree of Wisdom Apple, and I gave them all enough to where they could just be really good magic users as well. Now, I haven't tested this out yet, so whenever we get to a battle, we'll see um, exactly what it entails when I tell them to cast a magic spell. They've learned them all. Everything's all good and dandy. Pretty much this is the most powerful team you're going to get. Um, I went ahead and got rid of Pentine, but now we're back where we were, and we are going to go ahead and continue Freywood. So let's come over here. Uh, last thing we did, if you remember, we learned that the children may know something more about Gwen Erlenbane's chastity belt than they are saying, so we are going to ask the brother here. And he's waiting for us to do something, so we're going to go ahead and start out with a threat. I need to get violent. Don't you think I'd help my sister if I could? I don't know where my father hid the key. Alright, well, let's go ahead and cast a true spell. Knights of Virtue. Told you the truth. Damn your magics. Alright. So now let's see the sister. I'm trying to help your sister be free of that belt that now restrains her. My poor sister. I can never survive what she is going through. I wish I could help her. I've tried, but I can't pick the lock. Well, let's see. Stop, I'll cry. Don't speak to me like that. I'm too delicate. So now we're going to force the truth out of her. Uh, 
You fiend! Your spells force me to help you. I can lead you to the key. I convince Father to make Gwen rare the chastity belt because she is more beautiful than I. If she were free to use her wiles, the males would find me less alluring. I couldn't have that. Once Father locked her up, he hid the key. He would never tell me its location. After he died, I found these directions that I assume lead to the key. However, my father wrote the directions in an ancient elfin language that I cannot read. Father believed knowledge of other languages was invaluable for certain pranks. Here, take the directions. See if they are of any use to you. Alright, so now we have a map in our chest. Another map. I wish they would like be more specific about what kind of map it is. Everything in your chest that's a map says map. Oh, interesting. So you gotta go through every single one to find it. Appears to be a map, but unable to decipher it. Well, we're gonna keep trying. If he can't get it, we're gonna go to somebody who can. Yeah, I used the tree of wisdom apple on him. If you remember, his stats were all over a hundred. Well, using one on him brought him all down to 99. Kind of odd, but. I mean, that's as high as I think a tree of wisdom apple can get you. So if you're higher than that, it puts them all at 99. Alright, so let's go to the next person that's going to be good to do this map. Looking at translating, we have 87 on him. Let's see if we got any higher. She's 100. Okay, so Heltura is the running leader now. Uh, 99 for the Nice of Virtue. Okay, so Heltura has got a hundred. Only one more than what I already had, but still. Come on, let's do this. can't read that. So let's go ahead and go around and see what we can find out. He's no help. What about the sister? Now, I know that we can read this map. I've done it so many times. You don't have to find no ancient elf who can read it. So let's go ahead and keep trying. map says. You're gonna find out sooner or later. Don't really have to do it right now, so we'll get back to that. Meanwhile, we have been skipping a certain things so far in this area, and I think it's time to go ahead and visit the castle. Have you heard about the challenge to the new king? This still unknown challenger mocked the king in his own father's wake, dusted the food with the yell rude powder, <laughs> sent all the guests off one by one back and forth to move their bowels all night long. Ha! <laughs> At the king's wake, the guests realized they had been pranked and fell about the place laughing when they weren't going in and out. <laughs> I've seen royal challenges before, but this is the best. I don't see how the king can remain in power. Uh, who is this? 
You are quite the large one, aren't you? Heed my words. I do not fear you. I am the king's advisor, and I have great influence over him. You'd be wise to mind your manners while visiting our land. Now here in Freywood, this is our elven king. As if my problems weren't over overwhelming enough. As if my father's murder at the hands of Grimnoth were not enough for me to deal with. An Elonian enters my court. I hope you've come to tell me why your people are killing Comington Forest. I am the new king of Elonia. My father was killed by the same sorcerer who made you king, made you king and threatens this land with darkness. I've come through the portal to enlist your aid in my struggle against Grimnoth. As to your claim that humans are killing Freywood, I tell you it is not true. It is true, I tell you. Our very souls are linked to the forests in Freywood and in Elonia. As they suffer, we suffer. As they die, we die. There are men in Comington cutting trees at a speed greater than the forest can absorb. As the forest disappears, so does Freywood. Arg! I can't sustain this. I have pain in my head. I am an elf whose head aches. My father is murdered, and a curse of darkness threatens to destroy my kingdom, as if the cutters in Comington don't kill us first. Worst of all, my rule has been formally challenged, and I have to meet this challenge before I can worry about Grimnoth. Tell me of this threat to your rule. Who is behind it? Ah, I see your brain is as big as your forehead. If I knew who was behind it, wouldn't I be hip-deep in plotting revenge? Political succession in Freywood is based on jokes and pranks. Even the throne is not pardoned from this rule. To advance, you must play a prank on the superior whose position you desire. If the trick is successfully sprung, the victim has 30 days to uncover the Joker and gain revenge or be forced by law and tradition to step down. An extremely effective prank was played on me recently, at my father's wake no less. Are you familiar with the yell root? It is used to make a potion that loosens the bowels. Some devious elf placed the equivalent of 7,000 DL roots in the wine. Do you know what even one DL root does to someone? Do you have any idea what happens to 400 feasting, drinking elves who are given ex excess of DL at the same time? It was such a disaster. Those not affected by the DL potion were so hysterical with laughter that I was nearly toppled from the throne that day. I've got to learn this Blackguard's name and humiliate him thoroughly. If you can learn his identity and tell me, I will be free to move with you against Grimnoth. There is, I believe, an elf named Ferris, who is a maker of pills. You might ask him if he has recently sold DL to anyone. He lives northwest of the castle, in a hut with three purple flowers growing on the roof. Search there, and you might find him. So, I need to go to Ferris first. But it's really bugging me that I cannot translate this map. Reading 98, 100, 24, 90, 99, 99. All very high. But they can't read it. It's very odd. It's a matter of luck. I know it's just a dice being rolled whether I get to read it or not and it's higher based on their skill it's very 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 annoying chances. Helter has got the highest. She should be able to do this. Don't know why she would not be able to. It's very odd. The crystal orb, you can see the components for the spell to weaken Grimnoth. Yes, I already know all those. She can read that, but she can't read this map.
Come on, give me the roll I need. I don't think there's a spell that can increase my chances of reading this map, but we're going to check. There's no increased knowledge spell. Map red. Let's go pick up Pentine. He's an elf. It doesn't make a difference. I know. You don't need an elf to read this. I've read it many times before. His reading and translating is zero. So he ain't gonna be able to do nothing, but we're still gonna try. We're gonna load him up on Tree of Wisdom Apples here in a second. Translating is 28, yay! Oops. Maxed. Let's get one more just for good measure. doesn't want anybody to read this map, which is very, very, very disconcerting. Okay, well, we wasted, wasted enough time doing that. After we're done with Freywood, we'll come back to this map, and if I still can't read it, I'll just tell you what it says. Anyway, all right, three purple flowers on the roof, northwest of the castle. That is where we are going to find Ferris, the apothecary. Okay, here's the castle. Three purple flowers, here we go. Can I sell to you, human? You are a human, aren't you? I'm a seller of potions and herbs. You can buy from others, someone like Ladrian, but they are all cheap jacks. If you want quality, you should deal with me. All I want from you is information. Have you recently sold a large amount of Yellroot? If so, tell me who you sold it to. 
I can guess why you ask, human, but I am an honest merchant. My services are of great use to pranksters, as is my silence. If word got out that I revealed the name of a customer, I would soon lose my trade. Well, do it or I'll f*** you up. How about that? Back off, human, back off. I owe my customers loyalty, but not injury. You needn't get violent. I'll tell you what you want to know. It was the king's cousin, Brodo. He came to me in secret and arranged an extremely large purchase of DL. He's the one you want. Huh, but can I be certain you speak the truth? Look how my hands shake. Isn't my fear proof enough? Here, I will put it in writing. A note certifying the truth. Brodo's a runt anyway. Nobody likes him. If anyone asks, I'll claim that I pranked Brodo. Yes. Ha! That just might work. Here, here is the note. All right. Now we go back to the king. For those of you that are watching, I have actually, I'm just going to give you a little uh, little story here. I have, over the course of the last two years, off and on, been working on a mod for the game Skyrim. Uh, basically, it is a complete remake of this game. It's only in the beginning stages. It's a very long process to completely remake a game. Now, basically, I've always wanted this game to have, you know, updated graphics and everything, and Skyrim Creation Kit has allowed me to do that. It's a lengthy process, you know, because I'm the only one working on it. So far, all I have done is, you know, Castle Valley Tug, where you start out. Um, if y'all are interested, let me know, and I will make a video of that mod, just so you can see what I've done. But anyway, here is King Wilric again. Have you learned the identity of the elf who challenges my reign? I have a note here from the Apothecary Ferris. He testifies that he stole DL Root to an elf named Brodo. Ho ho, yes, my cousin Brodo. That ambitious schemer. I would never have expected one so young to make a move for the throne. He'll find me ready to return his challenge. I must ask you to do me one other service. Brodo will be watching my actions. Go to an apothecary and purchase for me an amount of bruce powder, a mixture that causes anarchy of the bladder. If you can cause Brodo to eat or drink the powder, he'll wet, well, he'll wet himself all day long for a week. That should be more than enough answer to his challenge. If Ferris will not sell to you, there's another who will provide Bruch. Ladrian is his name. Go to the west and north to find him. When you are prepared to make a fool of Brodo, look for him in or near his hut, which sits near the armory. Be clever. Be quick. So now we know we need to go to Ladrian to get the Bruce powder. And then go find Brodo. And find a way to get him to drink. Something that has this Bruce powder in it. Ladrian is to the north and west. We've already seen him once. Usually he's up against some trees here somewhere. He's kind of got his back to him waiting for you to arrive. Let's find him. Flying makes this a whole lot easier. I recommend flying everywhere. It's a cheap spell, does everything you need it to, makes everything so much quicker. Alright, so here's the armory, so we will be coming back here. But we need to find old Ladrian first. As much as I played this game, I do not remember exactly how to get to everything. It's a big game. But we're gonna find him. 
He's not this far over. I know he's more towards the middle. Let's zoom out and see where we are. There he is, right there, directly west of us. Ah. You are obviously a traveler and obviously far from home. If you have need of an apothecary's services, you'll find I mix the finest drugs and potions. Ask anyone in town, they'll tell you I'm the best at what I do. I seek a powder, unknown to me but familiar to elves called Bruch. If you can sell me that, then you can help me. An item in much demand and little supply among the prankish elves of Freywood. I can let you have it, but I say it will cost you 35 gold pieces. Are you still interested? I don't feel like trying to haggle with him, so I'm just going to go ahead and say 35. Regardless of what you choose, I'm pretty sure you still got to pay 35, and he still says the next thing anyway. Here's the Bruce Prouder. You don't drive a very shrewd bargain, human. I'd have sold this for 20 gold pieces. Always haggle with an elf. Let this be a lesson. Just knowing what's going to happen does not help you. Alright, now let's go back and find the armory again. Down here somewhere, I believe. Can have a picture of a shield on it. Should have marked exactly where it was before, but yeah, I'm not ever one to think ahead. There we go. This house is near the armory. Nobody in here. Let's try here. Nope. I believe this is it. Yes. You seem to be a very happy elf indeed. What is the cause of this celebration? I have my reasons, human. You visit Freywood at a historically funny moment. My cousin, King Wilric, has been all but dethroned by an extraordinary clever challenger. I'm an elf who admires a well-crafted prank. But when I see one such as that played on my royal cousin, one that is played to perfection, I must celebrate. In fact, you're here in an opportune moment. I need more wine. Could you fetch me one of those bottles? And let's take his wine, which he has so entrusted us to bring to him. What a nice guy. So trusting. Little does he know. We're going to make imps all over himself. While Brodo isn't looking, you secretly uncork a bottle of wine and pour a healthy portion of the powder in. You put the cork back in the bottle, and the trap is set. I may have to just skip letting y'all see the map. Don't know why it's not working, but it is what it is. At least I know what it says. Thank you, thank you. I hated to walk all the way over there while you were so close at hand. This is the fine vintage if you'd like to get drunk with me. Help yourself to it. Me, I take it straight from the bottle. Ah, that is delicious wine. Let's talk of my cousin's troubles. Ask any of the few elves who care at all about politics, and they'll tell you Wilric lacks the imagination to be King of Freywood. Gulp. Ah, that is good. He can't even learn who pranked him, let alone devise a suitable counter-prank. And believe me, if he remains in power, he'll face a lot worse than some DL route as his father's wake. Hey, what now? 
What's this? I'm wet? How? The... I'm really wet. Wetting myself. Not stopping either. Trying, but not stopping. Why are you laughing? Stop laughing. What have you done to me? My drink. You put something in my drink. Something to make me lose control of my bladder. This could last for days. Did Wilric put you up to this? Get away from me. This is humiliating. I can't become king if my pants are soaking wet. That's what you get for being a conniving little squirt. Get it? <laughs> squirt? <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> ah, don't tell me. I know. I saw it. I was hiding nearby. I saw it. The look on his face. Oh, he couldn't stop. Oh, God. I'm so sorry. Oh, just too funny. <laughs> I'll run his wet garments up a flagpole for all to see. Can you join me now in the struggle against Grimnoth? <laughs> oh, no, no, I couldn't yet. I feel much better just seeing Brodo Brawlo, but I still have duties to the realm, which I, as I hate to admit it. We must discuss the matter of these cutters in Comington Forest. You say you are the king of Alonia? If that is true, then use your authority. Stop these men before they destroy Comington and Freywood. For us elves, these cutters are as deadly as Grimnoth's dark plague. Remove this threat. And I will join you against Grimnoth. Ugh. So now we gotta go stop these people who are cutting Comington Forest. But first, I'm gonna take uh, 30 seconds and try and read this skin map. Which should be allowing me to read it, especially with her reading and translating. I don't understand. But if it doesn't work this time, we will just go ahead and I'll just tell you what it says. Because I've never had an issue at reading this map. Not once. It appears to be a map. Again, and again, and again, and again. Is a Dakota ring a little too much to ask? Alright. The map says follow the wall to the, at the front of the castle to where it intersects another wall going north and south. There you will find something. So, as much as I hate to do it without me reading the map, but, I mean, it is what it is. It's not really any choice. Where's my shovel? How am I missing the shovel here? It's not the first time I've had the shovel disappear. So, now I need to go buy another shovel. Very weird. shovel. I wonder what happened to my shovel. It's very odd. But anyway, two problems I've run into in this Let's Play. I'm sure y'all don't mind. pawn shop. So let's go ahead and go to Silvermore. I believe Silvermore has a pawn 
one shop. I may be wrong. We're gonna check. I'm sure you've heard in the last few videos, but I actually quit smoking. And now I'm on the vape train. gotta have a pawn shop. I mean, you gotta. But yet they might not. Not every town has a pawn shop, unfortunately. Listen to me now. Why should I stop performing my duty? I work fairly for my wage. The forest is a very special place in the kingdom. I do not want it disturbed. Plant and animal life should be left alone. The hand of man must not interfere with nature. You have no idea how important my command is. An entire race that is hidden into the naked eye depends on the forest for their own survival. With each tree you cut down, each acre you burn, each animal you mindlessly kill, the future of this race moves closer to extinction. Stop your raising at once. You sound crazy to me, young prince, but I'll abandon my post if you pay me my wages. My monthly pay is 127 gold pieces. If I'm going to quit my job, I want my wages. Will you pay me? Yes. That was easy enough. I'll abandon my post in the forest. Perhaps I can serve you in the future, much as I did your father. I think you're too sensitive. This forest would have been a lovely place for a new castle. Alright. There's more than just him, but we're going to go ahead and dig this up. All right. Here we go. Whoops. More. 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 Shovel. After a short time digging, you find one chastity belt key, which is now in your inventory. Alright. So 